Hi, welcome to Gamers Web. Uh, my name is Mark, and today we're going to take a look at Mortal Realms: Age of Sigma, the um, part works by Shep Part Works and Games Workshop, and this is issue two. Now, um, issue two comes complete with uh, four uh, Banshee miniatures, uh, uh, Miramon Banshees, a pot of paint, and a brush. And as well as the magazine. Now what I'm going to do is, because this is on a very large card, I'm going to take this off the card and we'll have a closer look, but I'll do that in one moment. And just quickly turn over and it shows you what we get in issues, because this is still a brand new part work. So uh, it takes a look at issue one, issues two to four, so two, three, four, there, and um, tells you how to subscribe. So if you bear me a second, just pause this, we'll come back and we'll have a look at the magazine properly. Okay, welcome back. So um, I've just unpacked it very, very quickly, and uh, we'll take a look at the magazine in a second. Quick, we'll, first we'll have a quick look at the miniatures, and um, then we'll jump into the magazine. Now, as I stated in my previous video, uh, first of all, I mean to make a quick reaction. Um, it isn't the Bone Reapers, as I pointed out in um, the beginning of my last video. It isn't at all. It's it's Night Haunt. So um, please forgive me if that caused any confusion. Um, I'm brand new to Warhammer Age of Sigma, and I got confused. Okay, so um, the Banshee figures, there's four of them. Uh, obviously, the Banshees, they're female, uh, they're undead, and um, they look pretty, pretty nice. Now, I've been told by quite a few folk who've actually assembled these that they're a bit of a nightmare to put together. Um, we'll have a look, because I'm going to assemble them. And um, what I'm going to do each week is, um, my challenge to myself is to get the unit painted each week for the following video so my challenge for next week is to have this painted and as you can see when i reach over here into my box of tricks uh, i've painted a full squad of night haunts um in fact there's three full squads of night haunts there for uh, last week um painted them base and all ready to rock and roll using this awesome uh, nickel oxide uh, paint. I'm going to pop those up on the display stand in a little while and we'll have a look at those again. Okay, so the magazine comes with the four manchies with um, their uh, ready sculpted bases, which makes it a lot easier if you're uh, new to the hobby, which most people will be. Um, a bottle of Corax White, which unlike um, the sister magazine uh, Conquest, you didn't get a white paint until about 12 issues in. <laughs> And um, you get a standard starter brush, which is very good. They're really nice quality brushes. And uh, ideal. Um, the magazine costs $5.99 instead of $7.99. But it will be going up to $7.99 from issue 3 onwards. Okay, so... Um, uh, issue 2 tells us about the Wrath of Nagash. Painting Night Haunt miniatures and Miram and Banshee's attack. And then we look on the back. And then we've got Coming in Mortal Realms issue 3. Stormcast reinforcements. And read about the Stormcast Eternals. So we get um, the Stormcast with the heavy uh, ballistas and uh, a griffin hound. And we also get a base pot of Retributor armor for doing the the gold on the Stormtroopers. Uh, Stormtroopers. Stormcast. And then um, issue 4 gives us... Um, uh, another battle mat, nickel oxide paint, which is really, really good, and then we get these uh, Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Uh, we can get four of those, which look like horses, undead horses. I don't know anything about them, looking forward to reading about them. Okay, so let's jump, jump straight into the magazine. Okay, so um, Night Hunt Miraman Banshees. Um, they were once women who practiced the arcane arts and sought out magical knowledge. In their search for power, they failed to pay the proper respect to Nagash, who is the Lord of the Undead. In death, he cursed them, forcing them to seek out forever and devour the magic that they craved in life. So basically, uh, Nagash is um, the god of death and destruction. Um, uh, well, not so much destruction, but just death. Uh, there are different factions within um, the... Uh, Age of Sigma uh, universe. So you've got Order, Chaos, uh, Death, and another one which I can't remember. But they're all different factions. And um, obviously the Night Haunts represent the Death faction. Okay, so um, this is having a quick look at them. And then you've got how they actually, uh, the Wheeling Dead. Miriam Banshee, Miriam on Banshees uh, unleash terrible screams of rage and misery as they attack their victims. Um, chill Grasp, 
Despite their ghostly forms, banshees can grasp and tear at living or stab them with chilly daggers. Mmm. Soul eaters. The cold touch of a banshee saps the will and strength of the living, eating away at their souls. And spell eaters. Mirror banshees hunger for magical energy. They can eat spells as they are cast and drain the magic from enchanted weapons. Mm, makes them quite difficult <laughs> to take out. Okay, so here we have Nagash. Uh, Nagash is all is is the great necromancer. He is uh, a magic user who transcended death and basically um, commands vast vast armies of the undead um, and uh, wreaks havoc upon the mortal realms. Now, in the old Warhammer, because Age of Sigma is a reinvention of Warhammer fantasy battle, in the old Warhammer, Nagash was the big bad. He was the hardest one to take out. He was the one who commanded all the undead. And as you can see, just looking at the miniature, he's a big chap. He's a huge fella. Okay, so the Soul Wars, this will tell you more about how um, this uh, all came to be. How Nagash and Sigma and all the other gods uh, ending up where they are. Um, I don't know anything about this. I will do because I'm going to read through it because I've come and got to it brand, brand new and brand fresh. Okay, so um, how to build your mirror mom vanchies using clippers. Be careful with them for the clipper safety. Uh, they are push fit. I would recommend that you glue them rather than push fit them because a lot of the push fit figures tend to have massive gaps if you don't glue them. Uh, just use a polystyrene cement that's designed for miniatures and um, follow the simple steps. Now, as always, um, same with the sister magazine, uh, Warhammer Conquest, this magazine shows us um, the colour uh, that we're actually seeing is the part that you're working on and you put that part onto that part and then that goes into that part. It's quite easy to follow. You don't need, you know, insert slab A into slot B or anything like that. It's all quite self-explanatory just by looking at the pictures. And then we've got a quick, brief how-to paint guide. So what you will need, your tools, like a water pot, your paints, your brushes. Um, this is the subscription um, le letter that comes with uh, the magazine. And it tells you, you know, like what you're gonna get if you subscribe. Now, please be warned, if you do decide to scribe, subscribe, you will only get these if you subscribe from issue one. So you will have to say, yes, I want issue one, two, three, and four. Uh, otherwise, if you start, if you've already got issue two and you start from issue two, you won't get any of this stuff. You'll just get your subscription. And um, with all due respect to Ashet, they do tend to have a bit of a nightmare when it comes to uh, dealing with subscriptions. Uh, as you can tell if you follow any of my other videos on the Warhammer Conquest magazine. So here's how to paint them. Um, they suggest putting down the Korax white and then uh, putting three quarts of the Corax white down. And they've just left them white. All right, <laughs> they've just actually, uh, they've not actually done anything on them at all. So basically they just painted them completely white and left them white. Now, obviously we're gonna go into a little bit more detail than that um, with our next lot, but we'll get to that when we go into the next issue. Uh, Terror amidst the tombs, spectral ambush. This is a mission. And um, this is literally how you play the game. And it's quite easy uh, once you get into it. And you get a little battle mat in issue one, which tells you where to place your figures. And this tells you how to do all your attacks and what weapons do what. And that comes us to the end of this magazine. Now, um, as I said, I'm just going to quickly pause the camera and then I will show you my assembled squad of um, uh, chain rasps. Um, uh, Welcome back. Sorry about that. For some reason, my video cut off. Uh, so here is my assemble squad from uh, issue one. As I say, my challenge to myself is to get a squad assembled for uh, each magazine and then try and present it the following week uh, when I do my video. So um, there they go. Um, these were painted using um, very, very basic uh, paints. I use the Nikau Oxide, which um, is the one that comes free in issue three, which is that one, uh, to do all the green on the uh, the robes. And I basically, um, I undercoated them in white. I put the nickel oxide on, on the 
cloaks just after they drive and as you can see it leaves a slightly white finish on it and then um, I used um, black templar no, sorry uh, basilicum gray um, contrast paint on all the chain bits and all the metal bits and the bones were done using uh, Firestar uh, is it Firestar or Firestar um, Firestar Red, uh, Flesh which is one of the contrast paints uh, because I couldn't find my skeleton hoard and I used that and uh, it looked quite good I was like, quite pleased with that and um, they don't look too bad at all um, especially for someone who's got vision problems I think they look quite nice right folks so um, that's the end of issue 2 review uh, if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the section below um, visit over, us over on Gamers Web and um, if you get the chance and you like this video, please leave a like for it because every like helps. Um, until next time, I've been Mark. Um, thank you for tuning into Gamers Web and have a great day.